hi welcome guys this is my first video from visual studio tips tutorials in this video i'm going to talk about the useful extensions of visual studio you may know or you must be knowing that extensions are used to boost the productivity the ideas like visual studio or sql server management studio or other ideas like them provides us a way through which we can install the extensions into them and after that we can use the extensions as per our need so in this video i am going to uh, talk about these four extensions that is jquery snips smart pester code mat and visual studio spell checker so let's see how we can install an extension in visual studio to install an extension, go to the Tools tab, select Extensions and Updates. Go to the Online tab. Type here jQuery. And now Visual Studio is going to search online for that. Now you can see the select option from the list, jQuery Core Snips. Download that. Install now. The second extension is Smart Pester. Go to the Visual Studio, type Smart Pester. Now download that, install. The third one is Code Mat. So type here Code Mat. Download that, install now. Now the last one is Visual Studio Spell Checker. Type here Spell and you can see the first option. Download that, install and everything is done now. I will restart the Visual Studio so the changes can take place. Now the very first extension is jQuery snips so let's see how we can use the jQuery snips to use the jQuery snips uh, before using the jQuery snips I would like to tell you that we use the jQuery and writing the jQuery is faster than writing the traditional JavaScript code we can do many things like if you are going to hide something then you can just type the hide method of jQuery and if you are going to do the same things through uh, the traditional way, then that is going to take a lot, lot of time. But the jQuery also takes a lot of time to write. Like if you are going to write the jQuery HX method, then you will have to type a lot of things like type and variables and so on. Sometimes we forget the things that uh, what is the syntax of the jQuery method so to overcome from all these situations we can use the jQuery snips so let's see how we can use the jQuery snips to use the jQuery snips just uh, type the left arrow and you can see the several options here like jq, jQuery, jQ script, jQ script CDN, Google and jQuery CDN MS now go to the jQuery Google CDN and double tap here and you can see the reference has automatically added into the SRC and you can use that. Now to use the jQuery functions create the script tag go to go inside the script tag and type the jq now you can see the several options here these are all the jquery uh, functions now suppose i am going to use the jquery ajax so, so simply select that and double tap and you can see the ajax method is here in a very short time so in this way you can use the jquery snips now the second extension is smart pester itself it says from its name that yes i am 
smart enough to paste something so suppose I am going to paste these lines in my code and I want to make these lines commented so how I can do that to do that uh, simply right click go to the paste edge option and you can see the several options here like paste edge command paste edge string literal paste edge string paste edge string builder or you can paste as a byte array so suppose I am going to paste as comment and you can see the lines which I have pasted are with the lines which I have copied are pasted as the comment now we can use other options like we can paste as string builder and you can see the lines which I have copied are pasted as a string builder now the third is code mat let's see how we can use the code mat so if you will look at here you can see the several uh, usings but if you will look at the code we are not using like we are not using the system dot collections dot generic we are not using the system dot link you so this is not a good uh, approach that if you are not using some libraries then why should I write that on the top uh, we can simply remove that but uh, if your code is small then you can recognize that and you can remove these usings but think about that if you have lots of lines in your code and someone says please remove all the unused usings then how you can do that this will become very tough for you to remove these uh, unused uh, usings st statements so in this case we can use the code mat so to remove unused usings go to the code mat select clean up active document and you can uh, see here that all unused usings have been removed also you can use the code mat at solution level or you can use the code mat at project level so if you will select here and clean all code then this is going to remove all the unused usings from the whole uh, solution uh, you can use other options from the code mat like you can find the file in solution explorer suppose you want to find this file in your solution explorer then go to code mat and find this you can see the home controller is selected here now the same way you can use the other options make a format comment you can select the join lines you can remove the all regions and other options so once you will start using the code mat you will become familiar with that in a very short time now the last one is visual studio spell checker sometimes by mistake we can uh, write the wrong spelling of words in some cases cases if you have a big document and uh, you have written some wrong spellings then this will become very hard to find them then which uh, word is wrong and what is spelling you have written wrong so while typing while writing your code you can uh, find that uh, you have written something wrong so let's see if I have written the wrong spelling of Apple then as soon as you will type that Visual Studio Spell Checker will uh, provide a line underneath that word that this is wrong and also it will provide provide the options to choose from like you can select the Apple apply applier and also it provides you a way through which you can add th this word into the dictionary of visual studio spell checker so again if you will type the same word then this is not going to show you the red mark 
underneath that so that's it from the today's video tutorial please subscribe comment thanks for watching have a great day